Today, we're gonna be looking at a $3.9 million luxury retreat. Now, this property has it all, and it's properties like these, the reason I love luxury real estate. My name is Grayson Roberts, your real estate agent's favorite realtor, and I know what you're thinking. Grayson, this house, you know, four million bucks, it's nice, but it's nowhere near your $40 billion beach house. Well, I would have to agree, but you know, yeah, not everybody can have a $40 billion beach house. Anyway, guys, let's take a look at this absolutely beautiful property. And if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in the greater Springfield, Missouri or Southwest Missouri area, you know who to call. Let's get into the video. It's a big day. This property was originally listed at $4.2 million, and now it is a steal at 3.9 not really it's still pretty expensive but hey this property was built in 1983 six bedrooms seven full bathrooms with two half baths for a total of nine bathrooms the total square foot is over 12,000. so for 3.9 million dollars it looks like we're getting a lot more house for a lot less money than the last property tour we took all right let's start it off by looking at this beautiful circle drive because hey if you get cravings for some dizziness you got it I feel like these pictures would look really good with the uh, the leaves on the trees, but if the leaves were on the trees, yeah, it would make the outside look better, but then you wouldn't really be able to get a good shot of the house, which is fine. Now, listen, this property is not lakefront. That's why we're saving about a million, million what? Million four, million four and a half from the last property we looked at, but hey, you know, this one's a little bit more reasonable, you know, at a, at a cheap $4 million. Anyway, the ranch at Bull Creek. Look at it. Look how good it looks at night. You know, the attention to details. That's what I love about these luxury properties is they look like UFOs on the ground when you're in the air on an airplane. But anyway, look at that. You got your own little private pond. I'm probably covering it, but I don't know which way I'm supposed to turn. But you got a little, little tiny, not a pond, but water features. You know, if you got to dip your toes, you got to dip your toes. Moving in. Once again, I'm sure this agent is extremely successful, but for the love of God, please turn that phone sideways. You got a $4 million property. Let's uh, let's get some professional photos. But hey, you know, the foyer walking in, absolutely beautiful, solid wood staircase and handles, gorgeous. You got lights hanging down. You got that beautiful floor to ceiling, stone fireplace, phenomenal light fixtures, and of course, solid hardwood floors, because why wouldn't you? But, you know, like I said, I love these properties because they're rustic. You know, you're out here in good old Missouri, right? So you gotta have these beautiful stone fireplaces. I absolutely love these properties. Moving in, you got those double solid wood doors that probably, you know, a toddler couldn't even open if they tried. Moving into the kitchen, you have a beautiful granite countertop. But look at this cabinetry. I don't know what kind of wood it is, but it's dark and I like it. And it's finished off with a stainless steel stove. Um, I've seen the stove in like a bunch of other of these properties. I guess, hey, you know, they, it's, the, it's the top of the line stuff. When you're paying $4 million for a property, you're gonna get the top of the line stuff, of course, with the built-in hood vent. I just love the light fixtures. They're pretty consistent throughout. You can see the ones hanging over the bar right here. You can see them out here and you can see these similar lights in the foyer, uh, for your, whatever you wanna call it. Um, but lots of lights. Look how many light bulbs are in this place. You're gonna get plenty of lighting. So you're not gonna be in a, a dark dungeon in your $4 million luxury property. Beautiful tiles, backsplash, built-in, ooh, built-in fridge and freezer into the cabinetry. It's one of my favorite features. You've got a double oven. My parents have a double oven. Once you get the double oven, you can't go back. But this is probably one of the most, uh, uh, the most seating I've seen at a bar. I mean, come on, like you could fit all of your friends here and they could watch you wash your hands. Anyway, beautiful corner windows, double opening door to the big back deck. Again, consistent light fixtures, plenty of natural lighting. So your views of the, the countryside are never interrupted. I just punched the microphone. And of course, what $4 million property would be complete without a little bit of a built-in wine refrigerator and dry wine storage up there? And you know, bonus sink for when you're just really dirty. And it's not really a butler's kitchen because it's, it's, you know, it's not a kitchen. So yeah, I guess that's a dead giveaway. Moving into the living area, it's an open floor plan with the kitchen. Absolutely beautiful, another stone fireplace. And this one, I can't really see from here, but it looks to be maybe you could throw some logs in there. Where you keep them? I don't know. But look at this cabinetry surrounding the TV. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. I'm a big fan of built-in shelves with more natural lighting to top it off. 
And what countryside $4 million property would be complete without a massive screened in sunroom? Well, it's not really a sunroom, it's more of a back deck. How many houses have you been in that have solid wood floors? Quite a few. How many houses have you been in that have solid wood ceilings? All right, that's the level we're playing on here, folks. So take it in because it's pretty pretty. There you go. There you have it. Pretty pretty. Now, moving in here is what would be the study or the home office. And honestly, <laughs> you move into this house, you're going to have no problem storing stuff. There is plenty of storage and, you know, looks like you got plenty of Plenty of baskets for you as well, which is great. But look at the attention to detail. Look, it's rustic. You've got a built-in shelf with lighting. You've got, I, 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 look at this vanity. I mean, this has to be custom. I've never seen anything like it in any of these properties. Absolutely gorgeous. You got, of course, your little coat storage. You know, look at the trim around the doors, the cabinetry by the laundry unit, the granite countertops, just so you can set baskets on. I mean, the attention to detail is immaculate. And it should be for 4 million big ones. Of course, a big giant master bedroom and a dream master bath. You've got his and hers with cabinets separating each other. So, hey, you know, you don't got to look at her. You don't got to look at him. Life is good. Giant jacuzzi tub, walk-in shower with, as you can see, the rain head faucet tiles. Yeah, I can't promise you, but I bet they're heated and plenty of lighting so you can see yourself while Never mind. So this looks like a picture of the shower, but that does not look like that same shower. So I'm not sure how that picture flows or fits in. Looks like it's just a totally different picture. Anyway, and hey, look, everything's negotiable. I bet you could get that piano if you put it in the uh, in your offer. But I mean, just the attention. You look at look at those sideways ceiling, grandfather mansion style ceilings. Cause why not? Beautiful kids' bedroom. Of course, you got the his and hers for even the guest bathrooms because that's the level we're playing on here, folks. More attention to detail. Interesting choice in wallpaper, but beautiful nonetheless with another walk-in tiled shower. So on uh, this room, it's not the living room. It sure looks like it because you've got the same fireplace there, which, okay, now that I look at it, it's a real fireplace because you've got all the tools next to it. But the cabinetry is a little bit different. It's not built into the cabinetry. The, the, the TV is, is freestanding, which you know, which leads me to believe that this is the basement. Okay, it is the basement. Got a ping pong table, full bar. I mean, come on, man cave, cigar smoking central. Who cares what the wife says? You know, you bought her a $4 million house or maybe she bought you a $4 million house, whatever. You're gonna smoke some cigars in it because why wouldn't you? Man cave, absolutely beautiful. Foosball, pinball. Like I said, everything's negotiable. I bet you could get that stuff at the property if you put it in your offer. Of course, more attention to detail. I love the dark wood. A urinal. Okay. Oh, interesting. And another home office with some guitars. I love that guitar enthusiast myself. And a home theater with what looks like to be recycled grandmother's couches. But hey, that's fine. You know, if you got $4 million, you got a couple thousand bucks you can spend on some nice movie theater seats. Looks like we just got some big storage. Hey, your own little putting green with a lot of golf balls on it. What in the, why are there so many golf balls on it? More outdoor seating area. Looks like this is a, a, another little kitchenette. Maybe for the guest house, the guest portion of this home. And listen, the guest house is nicer than where I'm living by a long shot. So you've got three separate uh, freestanding buildings. And I just guess one of those was a guest house. Man, the landscape. Look at this. You've got a little uh, water feature or a big water feature. I mean, this is paradise. So you can see from right here to right here, you've got the main house and the guest house connecting on two different floors. I mean, this is perfect for your in-laws, your parents, your best friend, your sister. Or hey, maybe you can house hack it and Airbnb it. Put 3.5% down FHA, house hack that thing. I don't think that's going to fly, but listen, access to a beautiful Creek, long private drive. And look, you got a barn and maybe even some cows. <laughs> it says bring the animals. Yeah, I guess they don't come with it, which you know, makes sense. But there you have it, folks. 
absolute beautiful property. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour and I'll see you in the next video.